Hi, my name is Ashley Share. I'm the founder and CEO of Share Love Funds. We are going to start our section on anatomy videos, and we'll talk about the respiratory system and breathing and um, give you a few exercises to um, do with children for the RCYT. So first, let's talk about the respiratory system and really understand breath. The respiratory system is unique and that it involves something involuntary. Even when we don't think about it, we breathe. I remember learning about that as a kid and I thought, wow, that's really crazy. Um, and so for the preschool age group, they might not know that. And um, that's something you can tell them. A really cool fun fact about their body is um, they can both control their breath and also it will happen automatically even if they don't have attention to it, like in their sleep. Um, so it's pretty cool. It's voluntary and involuntary. And at the preschool age group, that is, um, you know, some vocabulary for them, voluntary and involuntary in that concept. In yoga, we control our breath and the practice of um, breath work is pranayama. Prana is breath and the breath is considered the life force in yoga and really it's um, what keeps us alive. Our breath is synonymous with our life. We um, start life with our first inhale. We pass with our last exhale. And the breath serves as, um, it can be a marker of our health. And the gentle rhythm can also be a marker of our mood. When we're scared or anxious, our breath changes. Our body experience really is perceived, can be perceived with the breath. It's interesting also, um, if you do a yoga flow, breathing with conscious consciousness to your breath and a yoga flow um, not being conscious with the breath, not moving with the breath, you know, you'll notice the difference and um, we can really maximize our potential working with our breath. Um, we can feel our breath all the way to our pelvic floor and through our body. And many of us don't fully utilize our breath, but there's a lot of potential there if we do breath work. And just for children, just um, them making observations. Is their breath shallow or short or long? Can children focus on their breath without being distracted? How many breaths can they focus on um, without being distracted? And this is a way to also practice numeration. Children can be educated that the breath rejuvenates the body. It brings oxygen to the brain. By learning to control our breath, we can also control our emotions. You know, there's a saying saying, uh, just take a deep breath. And you know, how does that help us calm down? These are observations that children can explore. Breathing exercises help us control our breath and by extension help us control our emotions. Breath work is a practice that can help us strengthen our ability to control our breath, the muscles involved in breathing, the capacity of our lungs. Most of us breathe very shallowly without much thought and yogic breathing can help us have attention to our breath and certain types of breathing can help clear the nasal passages and so forth. It is very important when working with children though not to obstruct their breath and not, uh, um, you know, just to be really careful. So, um, you know, gentle breathing exercises really, I think, um, with children, it's best to just invite them to sort of observe their own breath but not tell them how to breathe. Like you can say like, maybe take a deep breath, but don't say like, breathe in for 10 seconds and breathe out for 10 seconds because 
that might be too long for the child to hold their breath. So I would um, give uh, gentle guidance um, in non-definitive terms for safety. Safety is really important with working with children. Namaste.